Here's a cartoon Donald ought to watch. Welcome back to Smarty Britches, the game show for smart people. Returning champion, Professor Ludwig von Drake. And new contestant, Mr. Goofy. Prepare for your final Smarty Britches quiz questions. The category, questions that Goofy could never answer in a million years. Uh-oh. First question, what is the elemental name of table salt? Sodium chloride. Correct. Second question. At what point of the year is the Earth... Wow! Winter solstice. Farthest away from the sun. Correct again, Professor. And the next question is... What is psychic ability? Correct. And that ends the game. Professor Ludwig von Drake, you're our reigning champion with a record three million dollars. As for you, Mr. Goofy, you owe us three million dollars. Well, I don't got that kind of money. Woo-wee! I'm rich and smart. Heavens to Betsy, I want to be smart like him. Well, there may be hope for you yet if you go back to school. <laughs> Beginning with elementary school. <laughs> You're tiny. The school bell is the signal for students to take their seats. The bell also signals recess. Whoa! Heavens to Betsy! One skill certain to help one become smart is reading. <laughs> the three musky tears. Sorry. The three musky tears. Yeah, Heavens one's to Betsy. Of course, one must indulge in all the classics, such as a farewell to arms. Or the masterpiece, Moby Dick. Yes, being smart is synonymous with being well-read. Soon, the student advances to junior high school. A sure sign of smarts is one's ability to write, and the beginning writer is wise to choose a simple sentence. I am smart. How about that? <laughs> the writer can bring more meaning to the sentence with the addition of an adverb. I am not smart. Hey! A conjunction allows an additional sentence segment to be linked. I am not smart and I smell. You little... Don't be afraid to use other nouns as descriptors in your sentence. I am not smart and I smell like a monkey. That's it. Remember that sometimes the best sentence is the shortest. Ouch. Serious students must not overlook physical education, for all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Hmm, I don't know, Jack. Basketball is among the favorite sports of the height advantaged. Shorty. <laughs> for those not height advantaged, the dramatic effects of puberty can be of assistance. Heavens to Betsy! After junior high, it's time for high school. High school includes the student's greatest challenge, the dreaded higher mathematics. All you have to do is add this random bob to the uh, whatchamacallit to uh, subtract to this thingy, which equals this here pointy majigger. Oops, forgot the decimal point. Heavens to Betsy! Stand still, would you? Many students struggle with higher mathematics, but one must never forget the basics, such as subtraction, addition, division, and, of course, multiplication. Yeah! <laughs> 
it, intelligence seeker. You've made it through school. And now you have a piece of paper that says, I'm smart. And it's time to put those smarts to the test with our super smarty britches jackpot quiz question. In the 1949 Ajax League World Series, what was the throw that made the final out? Oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, that's a toughie. He doesn't know the answer? Heavens to Betsy! That's correct! Oh? It was a throw from pitcher Tommy Heavens to second baseman Billy Betsy. Heavens to Betsy, Mr. Goofy. You're our new Smarty Bridges champion! I am! As you can see, a student of higher learning is always victorious in the end. Now we'll just take back that three million dollars you owe us. Well, that's okay. I've still got my smarts and my britches. Hmm? <laughs>